Recently, I've been pondering the boundaries that we create to keep us comfortable and safe, but which divide us from others and hem us in. When I say pondering, I'm talking about something quite different than thinking. Pondering is a heart activity, not a mental one. It's more gentle than thinking. It doesn't involve analysis or judgment, nor does it even lead to understanding. Something closer to gentle, non-demand reflection. I think of it as holding an issue or a thought in your heart and noticing what arises within you. Let's practice it. Let me read a short poem by A.R. Ammons called Don't Establish the Boundaries First. Listen with open attentiveness to what arises within you as I read it. Don't establish the boundaries first. The squares, triangles, boxes of preconceived possibility, and then pour life into them trimming off the leftover edges, ending potential. Let me read it again. Don't establish the boundaries first. The squares, triangles, boxes of preconceived possibility, and then pour life into them, trimming off the leftover edges, ending potential. What did you hear as I read this poem? What did you sense within your depths? I sense freedom. For me, it brings to memory boxes I've put myself in and boxes others have tried to place me within. It reminds me that we're not defined by our history. It makes me want to be careful to ensure that I see others in their uniqueness not through eyes that reduce them to some category. Let's listen now to another short poem about boundaries. This one's by Avida Sashani, a contemporary Persian poet, whose poems reflect her Sufi heritage. As you listen, don't be distracted by whether you agree with her or not. That's as irrelevant as trying to figure out if you agree with a painting. Just ponder it and notice what this poem says to you. You say your God is better than mine. You say your God is mightier than mine. You say your God is more loving, kind, forgiving. I say no one has a monopoly on God if God is God. Here we encounter boundaries of religion. Boundaries that disappear when we get a big enough perspective, just like boundaries of race or ethnicity. Think of seeing Earth from outer space. What you see is a borderless and boundaryless single blue planet in the darkness of space. Boundaries divide. They're like fences. They separate things and people that should be recognized as belonging together. Beliefs and labels work the same way. We think they separate things that are fundamentally different from each other. But like any binary polarity, big, small, rich, poor, stupid, smart, white, black, they're terms of relations not terms of reality. Today I invite you to ponder the boundaries you feel are essential to maintain and notice how they separate and divide. Also consider the cost of them to you and to your awakening and to the awakening and well-being of those who are on the other side of the fence from you. Be well. Bye for now.